Over the last few weeks, something unusual has been hiding in plain sight on Tesla's careers page. Quiet postings, dozens of them, for delivery prep specialists. To most, it's just jobs. To Tesla watchers, it's the storm before the surge. A monster Q3 and Q4 could be brewing, the kind of quarters where Tesla moves more cars than ever before. And when Tesla makes moves like this, it usually signals one thing. Demand is about to erupt, and something game-changing is on the horizon. Whispers point to the long-awaited 2026 Tesla Model 2, the car rumored to rewrite the rules with bold design, massive range, and a production strategy so ambitious it could rattle the entire EV world. Imagine being there when the future shifts gears. Before we go deeper, make sure you're strapped in. Subscribe to Drivexa, hit that bell, and never miss the next Tesla reveal. Now here's the question. How could a so-called affordable Tesla carry a driving range of 300 to even 400 miles? The answer might lie in structural battery composites, one of the World Economic Forum's top 10 emerging technologies of 2025. Picture carbon fiber not just holding the car together, but doubling as the energy storage itself. Breakthroughs out of Sweden have already shown promise, energy density climbing, stiffness reaching new heights, and efficiency that refuses to fade even after a thousand charge cycles. Fold that into the Model 2's chassis and you're talking about a car that's lighter by 10%, yet capable of stretching its range up to 70% further. And if that wasn't enough, pair it with solid-state aluminum ion batteries. These things laugh at heat, shrug off punctures, retain over 99% capacity even after 10,000 cycles, and recycle clean. Safer, stronger, and built for endurance. Imagine driving an EV whose body is also its battery, lighter, tougher, and capable of outlasting the competition. Now, imagine Tesla blending both of those breakthrough battery technologies into the Model 2. The result? A machine that's lightweight yet incredibly safe. A chassis that doubles as body and battery, delivering range far beyond anything you'd expect from a so-called affordable EV. But Tesla isn't stopping there. Enter Low Power Mode, the Model 2's silent guardian when parked. Think of it as a sleep mode for your car pausing non-essential systems like sentry, cabin overheat protection, or summon standby. The result? A car that stays asleep longer, losing just 2-3% charge over 3 days instead of 5-7%. That's the difference between sipping energy at 17-25 to 25 watts or guzzling twice as much. Of course, leave sentry mode on and your car stays wide awake, burning 150 to 250 watts and draining up to 6 kilowatt hours a day. The lesson, if you're parking long term, switch on low power mode, turn off sentry in safe spots, and watch your battery thank you. And then there's the shape, because design isn't just about style, it's about survival on the road. Every curve, every line of the Model 2 is sculpted for efficiency. Air drag grows fast as speed climbs, so even the smallest tweak can mean big savings. The Model 3 already stunned with a drag coefficient of 0.23. But if the Model 2 slips down to 0.21, at highway speeds, that could cut energy use from 226 watt-hours per mile to just 213. A subtle change in shape, and suddenly you're squeezing miles out of thin air. That single adjustment, shrinking the frontal area just a touch, could save nearly 8% in energy. Imagine the math. A sleeker roofline, flush handles, a flat underbody, even a subtle rear diffuser. Add in active grille shutters that seal off at highway speeds, and suddenly you're cutting another 2-6%. to Swap in low-resistance tires, and that's another 6% off the bill. Piece by piece, these smart choices push the Model 2's real highway range from 300 miles toward 330, all on a modest 60 kilowatt hour pack. And then there's regenerative braking, Tesla's hidden ace for city driving. Lift your foot and the motor flips into generator mode, turning motion back into power. In stop-and-go traffic, this recovery stacks up fast. Current Tesla data shows city driving can claw back 10 to 15 percent of lost energy. On a 60 kilowatt hour pack, that's about 30 extra miles, sometimes even 50, depending on your pace.
Suddenly, that promised 300 to 400 miles doesn't feel like marketing, it feels real. So, here's the question for you. What's the true hero in this range story? Is it the structural battery, the low-power sleep mode, aerodynamics, or the stronger regen? Drop your choice in the comments, and while you're there, hit subscribe to Drevexa so you don't miss the next reveal. But range is only half the story. The other half? Durability, simplicity, and everyday practicality. Picture this, a hybrid body built from aluminum and high-strength steel. Aluminum trims 8 to 12% off the weight compared to all steel, while steel holds the load paths with brute strength. The result? A body that's light where it can be, rigid where it must be. High-strength steel, with tensile strength reaching up to 1200 megapascals, reinforces the Model 2 where it matters most. The B-pillars, the floor beams, the bones of the car. This rigidity, 30 to 35 kilonewton meters per degree, keeps the ride steady, cutting vibrations and boosting stability. Meanwhile, aluminum panels guard against rust with their natural oxide shield, while smart coatings keep steel and aluminum from clashing. And in the event of a crash, energy-absorbing zones crush in in a controlled way, reducing impact forces by up to 25%. Safety baked into the frame. Lighting, too, is evolving. Imagine headlights that think. Adaptive LEDs guided by cameras stretch illumination 20 to 30 percent farther than old halogens, all while sipping a fraction of the power. Matrix beams keep high beams alive longer without blinding oncoming drivers, and ambient interior lights glow softly at just a watt or two, saving range while setting the mood. The numbers speak. Adaptive lighting can cut nighttime accident risk by nearly 10%. And when paired with Tesla's minimalist cockpit, a central screen, and just a handful of essential buttons, complexity drops, failure points vanish. Traditional buttons wear out after 50,000 clicks, but digital controls? They're built to last. And with an interface designed to finish most tasks in two or three taps, your eyes spend less time on menus and more time on the road ahead. Now picture this, a voice assistant built right into the cockpit. Say the word and Grok adjusts the heat, sets your route or dial support. No menus, no distractions. That alone could slash eyes off road time by 20 to 30%. Pair that with Tesla's over-the-air updates, and your car keeps getting smarter without ever stepping foot in a service center. Step inside, and the practicality shows. A wheelbase near 2,700 millimeters means plenty of headroom front and back. Even taller passengers ride in comfort. A flat floor, thanks to batteries tucked neatly underneath, makes entry effortless at just 450 millimeters high. Need space? The rear cargo sits at a convenient height for loading, and with split-fold seats, capacity jumps by up to 30%, giving you over a thousand liters for bulkier gear. Reclining seats add comfort, while nano-coated materials resist stains and shrug off years of wear. Durable, easy, built for real life. And here's the big question for you. Would a minimalist cockpit, one central screen, a voice assistant, constant updates, truly make your daily drive safer and simpler? Drop up Model 2 in the comments if your team simplicity. But Tesla isn't only chasing comfort, it's chasing performance at a price that shatters expectations. The secret? A permanent magnet synchronous motor, efficient by design. Instead of wasting power with induced current, it locks in with magnets, cutting losses to nearly zero. That means the Model 2 could run at a staggering 94 to 97 percent efficiency during everyday driving. High torque density, lighter motor, smaller footprint, all without sacrificing punch. 
Now add a silicon carbide inverter to the mix. Suddenly, switching and conduction losses shrink by 5 to 10 percent compared to older silicon tech. At 70 miles per hour on level ground, the Model 2 would sip just 19 to 23 kilowatts, translating to 14 to 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Compare that to budget EVs burning through 17 to 19, and you're saving 400 to 600 kilowatt hours every single year at 15,000 miles. That's efficiency you can feel in your wallet. Tesla keeps it simple with a single speed reduction gear. No clunky multi-gear transmission, no torque converter robbing efficiency, just gears, bearings, and a differential running at 97 to 98% efficiency. The result? Fewer moving parts, less wear, and almost no maintenance. No endless fluid changes, no costly clutch work, just a quick inspection now and then. And when it's time to slow down, regenerative braking takes over. Instead of burning up pads, the motor does the work, feeding energy back into the pack. In the city, that could cut brake wear by 50 to 90 percent. Over five years, you're dodging hundreds in service bills and steering clear of failures like valve bodies or torque converters that can bleed thousands on gas cars. But Tesla doesn't stop at saving you money. It sharpens your safety, too. The Model 2 could inherit the latest Tesla Vision hardware. Picture forward cameras with a dynamic range of 120 decibels, catching lane markings even in harsh glare or low light. Triple cameras give long, medium, and wide views for pinpoint object detection, while millimeter wave radar locks on to distance with 15 centimeter accuracy and speed resolution finer than a tenth of a meter per second, rain or shine. With this sensor fusion, you get the good stuff automatic emergency braking, lane keeping that holds the line, and adaptive cruise that keeps gap steady and stress low. Studies show rear-end crashes drop by 20 to 40 percent when AEB is active. And when your speed stays smooth, you save energy too. Fewer hard launches, fewer wasteful stops, more miles for you. But performance is only half the plan. The business case, volume. Imagine gigacasting presses in the 6,000 to 9,000 ton class stamping the front and rear underbodies in single shots. Dozens of stampings gone, hundreds of spot welds erased. Fewer parts, less robot time, tighter quality, the body shop turns into a flow. Now tie it all together with a structural battery floor. The pack becomes the spine, linking those mega castings and deleting more than 300 small parts and meters of welds and sealant. Automation in body and paint sales past 70%, trimming rework, sharpening consistency, the kind of rhythm factories dream about. Costs fall as volume climbs. Battery dollars follow the learning curve, 15 to 20% down every time cumulative output doubles. Take a 60 kilowatt hour pack from $150 to $120 per kilowatt hour and you've saved roughly $1,800 at pack level. Add shorter assembly times and suddenly a true mass market price comes into view. Have you ever seen a sub $10,000 car packing a 94 to 97% efficient motor and a silicon carbide inverter? If you think Tesla's about to set the pace, drop Tesla wins below and tap subscribe on Dravza so you don't miss what lands next. Because if the hiring surge is the opening act and Model 2 is the headliner, you're looking at the most practical, affordable daily EV yet. Low drag, smart power saving, a frugal motor and gearbox, and real mass production, all pointing to real range and real value. So what matters most to you? Under 25K, 300 to 400 miles, or rock bottom maintenance? Tell me in the comments. And if you're riding with the future, like this video and ring the bell on Dravza. The next reveal is closer than you think.